Hey YouTube, uh, today I want to do a video about why the gold market isn't going to crash. And uh, first of all, I want to thank all of my uh, new subscribers. Thanks for um, subscribing to my channel, and I'm going to be uh, trying to put up a video about once a week, at least. And uh, I just want to put out my observations on the uh, gold market, and it's from direct experience. Being here in Thailand is in uh, most of Asia, China, India, Southeast Asia, Vietnam, Thailand, even Russia as well. They're very uh, conscious of the value of gold, that it's a fungible commodity, that it's portable, that it's, um, you know, it never really loses its value throughout history. Of course it goes up and down, but in, in uh, general terms it keeps its pur purchasing power as opposed to um, paper money. Real estate, especially I would consider like real estate in the United States, is a, I would consider it a depreciating asset. I mean, it's made out of sheetrock and uh, and wood. <laughs> you know, how can it be going up in value, really? Honestly, like the longer you, that you have it, it should be going down in value because it's a, it's becoming a used asset. Gold doesn't become used. I mean, you can always just melt it down again. Just it lasts for thousands and thousands of years. You know, it doesn't burn. It doesn't corrode. Anyhow, um, my observation is that when, recently when the gold price was suppressed and I feel like it was manipulated by the major uh, central banks of the world in order that they can maintain their Ponzi scheme of um, illicit paper money which is backed by nothing in collusion with uh, real estate and uh, you know, in every other way they're trying to manipulate the commodi commodities market down. But it's impossible. I mean, we're in a long-term bull run in commodities. And even if they try and manipulate it down, eventually it's gonna, they're going to lose control of it. The economy, they might cause the economy to completely collapse and reset. But things will go back to the, you know, the value that they should be at. Uh, anyhow, when they suppress the, uh, the price of precious metals here in Asia, they, uh, they have gold stores and they sell 23 karat gold jewelry, which men and women wear. And uh, there were people like literally going crazy in there buying, you know, people that don't look very wealthy, but obviously they've been saving their money in cash for a long time. And they're in there um, buying rings, bracelets, necklaces. I was thinking about buying a necklace as well, but then I thought it's 23 karat gold. It's quite fragile. <laughs> I don't know why they don't make it honestly in like 20 karat, 18 karat. I understand it's you know, more compact and everything like that, but at the same time, if you want to actually wear it every day, it's not very practical, and also it's, you're inviting to get assaulted. I mean, there's not many places in the world now that you can wear that kind of stuff without attracting a lot of attention. Anyhow, they can suppress it as much as they want. The physical demand in Asia is going to be there, you know? And it just, you can see it, it just popped right back up again. So pretty much, um, I don't think they're going to be able to drive it down much further. And as time goes on, just going to, the value is going to increase and increase and increase. And as things become more and more unstable, people are going to turn back to that. Throughout history, they have, you know, and, and maybe for the past hundred years, they brainwashed Western people to think that gold is worthless. It's not. It's the most compact, you know, transferable form of wealth. And I want to show you, like, when I travel, I got this belt. And uh, it has a zipper in the back. And then I put like um, a few $20 bills and a, um, a quarter ounce Kugran. You know, it's good. I mean, it's a good, good uh, insurance policy if you're traveling to do something like that. You know, you never know if the ATM shut down, the world economy collapses. You know, I can eat for a couple months with that. So, you know, and imagine if you were trying to, like, carry something else that was worth that, it would be hard to find something else that's so easily uh, convertible in almost any country of the world. Well, in every country of the world, with, like, no questions asked. Anyhow, um, thanks for watching my video. Tell me what you think. Maybe you think that uh, gold is worthless, but I certainly don't think so, and I think um, the near future is going to prove that they cannot no longer suppress this uh, precious commodity. All right, thanks.